Now checking in with storm teammates Jason Sudeiko. Jason, unseasonably warm today, but things are about to change. Oh, they are in a big way. We're going to get the punch of rain, and then after that, we're going to drop back into the 30s for highs. So if you want any semblance of warmth, next couple days are really going to be it for a while for us. But some people are getting out, and they're taking some beautiful pictures. Uh, Mirza took this shot, said getting under the bridge was the best decision he had ever made, and I can see why, really. And Absolutely beautiful shot there. Keep sending those in. We've got quite a few of them up on you local for us. Uh, no rain out there to speak of just yet. You can see clouds overtook us early on, and rain is far to the south at this point. But by the time you wake up tomorrow morning, it's looking to be a little bit rainier of a forecast. Oh, it looks beautiful out there right now. 58 degrees. That breeze out of the south helping to keep us warm as it did through the overnight, and it will tonight, too. Temperatures only fading back to 50 degrees by 7 o'clock in the morning. That's when the rain moves in, however, and I think that'll last until the early afternoon hours before we catch a brief break, and then another wallop of rain comes, I'd say, into uh, tomorrow evening. Temperatures, though, stay mild. Mid-50s continue throughout the day tomorrow, so looking to be nice as far as temperatures go. As far as cloud cover and rain goes, though, that's going to be with us for a few days here. You can see that system starting to take shape off to the west, and those clouds will continue to push in ahead of that and rain eventually to follow. Futurecast continues to bring those in, and again, as it does so, rain along with it early morning hours. Here's that gap I was talking about. You can see this flow pattern, though. We're driving in that wind out of the south, and that's what's going to help us to drive up our temperatures and our moisture. But again, it won't be that long lived with those temperatures. We're talking upper 50s, low 60s for two more days before the bottom drops out of that. But those will be rainy days, so don't expect to go outside and see beautiful sunshine along with that. It's just not going to be the case for us. Futurecast continues to drive in and pump up that moisture, bringing in the rain, some moderate rainfall through the morning hours. Again, that brief gap that we get into the afternoon, and then after that, that next wave of rain will eventually be making its way in into the evening, and then again on Tuesday. So we get multiple rounds of this. It's not looking like we'll see much by way of thunder. Could see a few thunderstorms, say mainly Tuesday into Tuesday evening, but after that, Again, more rain even into Wednesday. So if you're hoping for sunshine, we've got to wait a few days to get there. Tonight, however, not half bad. Low 50s, breeze stays out of the southeast at 10 to 15. Tomorrow, we keep that same flow pattern with a high of only 55 degrees. Chances for a little bit of rain early on. Again, that gap through the middle portion of the day before more showers will be making their way through as we head through the evening hours. But you look at your eight-day forecast and, well, the three-day at least, still nice. After that, boom, dropping all the way down to the upper 30s, Saturday, Sunday, lows in the mid-20s by the end of next weekend.